SNC's Intellerupter Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter operates at high voltage. Failure to observe these precautions will result in serious personal injury or death. Some of these precautions may differ from your company's operating procedures and rules. Where a discrepancy exists, follow your company's operating procedures and rules. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the written instructions that came with your gear and can be found at snc.com. Your Intellerupter Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter comes complete with sensors, integrated power modules, interrupter open-closed indicators, hotline tag, and ground trip block levers. Optional items include a disconnect with operating lever and a Wi-Fi antenna. The interrupters can be opened and closed manually using the interrupter open-close lever. This can be achieved from a bucket truck with a hook stick or from the ground using an extendo stick. Control power is not required to open. Note that the interrupter does not have a dedicated non-reclose or one-shot lever. Instead, the interrupter's closing profile performs this function. For ease of filming, we will demonstrate operation in a controlled environment. There is a manual lever disc to open and close all three phases. Single phase operations are possible, but only through the software interfaces. To open the interrupters, insert a hook stick into the hole in the right section of the open-close lever and pull down. The three interrupters will open. When in lock-open position, a mechanical block on each actuator prevents the actuator from being closed. If desired, tag the lever in this position. Check the interrupter open-close indicator they should show a zero or green indication. Note that when the lever is in the locked open position, all operation is mechanically and electronically blocked. The lever must be in the ready position for SCADA operation and closing. To put the interrupter in the ready position, remove the tag on the open-close lever if applicable. Then insert a hook stick into the hole in the right lever section and push up. This places the lever in the ready position. The Intellerupter Pulse Closer comes with two different closing profiles. See the written instructions for more information and examples of closing profiles. To use the first closing profile, insert the hook stick into the hole in the left lever section, then pull down once. The open interrupters will close after the configured time delay. To use the second closing profile feature, Pull down twice on the left lever section within the time set for the manual lever closing delay timer. Manual close delay may be programmed for a specified delay time before the interrupters close. The default is 5 seconds. Then check the open close indicators. They should show a 1 or red indication. The hook stick operated three pole disconnect on the disconnect style models cannot be operated until the interrupters have been opened and the open close ready lever is in the locked open position. To open the disconnect, insert the hook stick into the right hole of the disconnect operating lever above the zero. Pull down on the lever. The disconnect will open. Opening and closing the disconnect will always be a pull down action. If desired, Tag the lever in this position. Check the interrupter open-closed indicators. They should show a zero or green indication. With the disconnect open, the interrupters can be closed and opened for testing. To close the disconnect, the switch has to be in the locked open position. Pull down on the right lever section of the front open-close ready lever with a hook stick. Now insert the hook stick into the left hole of the disconnect operating lever above the one and pull down. The disconnect will close. The switch can now be closed. When the hotline tag mode is applied, any trip on the hotline tag profile will be performed as a three-phase trip based on the setting of the hotline tag protection profile shown here. The hotline tag mode can be set remotely using a SCADA or IntelliLink software command or manually using the hotline tag lever. To locally apply the hotline tag mode, pull down on the hotline tag lever. 
it can be tagged in this position using conventional procedures. Observe the Amber Hotline Tag Indicator on the Protection and Control Module. When the Hotline Tag Mode is applied, the indicator will flash for one half second every two seconds. Any trip on the Hotline Tag Profile will be performed as a three-phase trip operation. To remove the locally set Hotline Tag Mode, push up on the Hotline Tag Lever. When the Hotline Tag Mode is removed, the Hotline Tag Indicator is off. If a hotline tag has been applied by an IntelliLink or SCADA command, the hook stick lever can be used to remove these tags. The indicator will be flashing to indicate the hotline tag mode has been applied. Insert the hook stick into the ring on the hotline tag lever. Starting with the lever in the up position, pull the lever down, then up, twice without delay. When the hotline tag mode is cleared, the indicator will no longer be flashing. See the written instructions for more information on settings for ground trip block modes. The Intelleruptor Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter can be operated locally using SNC's IntelliLink software through a Wi Fi connection. See the written instructions or our video series for more information. We hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions, please visit our website at snc.com.